Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the Atlantic and so I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far and so this video is going to be focused on Invest 99L as well as what is happening in and around the Caribbean and so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. And so let us go ahead and kickstart things with Invest 99L. And so here we have the disturbance. We're definitely seeing where we have all that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place within it. But it is still attached to a frontal zone. So it has not acquired the necessary uh, tropical characteristics. And so as it is going to be making its way to the northeast, it is also going to be encountering much cooler waters. And that is going to inhibit any further development. So it isn't likely that this is going to intensify into a tropical cyclone and become Owen as uh, was anticipated earlier this week. And so looking at the latest update from the National Hurricane Center, we're definitely seeing where that chance has decreased at uh, at the maximum, the chance was at 50%, but now here we have a steady decline. It was at 40, now it is at 30. So 30% decrease in that formation chance. And so guys, now let's go ahead and drift a bit closer to the Caribbean. And so here we're taking a look at these uh, at the satellite imagery for the area, uh, we definitely see quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity in the vicinity of Guyana, Venezuela, and even parts of the Windward Islands in Trinidad and Tobago. But looking more into the Caribbean, the eastern and central Caribbean, we're just seeing the, uh, those passing clouds coming from the north, but nothing too significant as of right now. And going more towards the rest of the region, here we are seeing uh, these clouds, as I said, they're coming down from the north and uh, possibly going to be resulting in maybe some pop-up showers here and there across some areas but nothing too intense is expected and we're not seeing any areas of very deep convection and so that dry air has still been lingering in the region and inhibiting any major rainfall activity from taking place. And as I speak about that, here is a look at it where we're seeing those yellows and oranges uh, that is indicating all that dry air within the region. So uh, where we have a lot of dry, stable conditions, we won't see too much happening in terms of rainfall. Okay, and so as I speak, what about the rainfall totals across the region as we're going to be progressing into the weekend and early next week? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And we're going to be starting out with GFS. So this is the total accumulated precipitation uh, that is expected between now and Sunday. So it's not all expected in just one day, but rather between now, Thursday, and Sunday. And so the different colors here going from the greens to those blues and then the purple shades respectively indicates increasing uh, totals of rainfall and as for that lilac shade uh, that is indicating two inches at the minimum. And so looking at this map here for the GFS, we're definitely seeing that in terms of the Caribbean, it is areas along the coast, the eastern coast of Central America that are going to be experiencing the most rainfall in the region. We're not seeing too much for the greater and lesser Antilles. And just near Trinidad and Tobago, we're definitely seeing where some increased rainfall is expected within that area as well. Going on to the Euro, the Euro shows that rainfall being a bit closer, those totals of over three quarters of an inch over an inch of rainfall being closer to Trinidad and Tobago but nothing too intense but for the rest of the region on a whole the northern Caribbean and the rest of the lesser Antilles we're not seeing too much but the area is expected to receive the most rainfall as you can see again uh, Central America so there we have that agreement between the GFS and the Euro in terms of where it's going to be receiving uh, the most rainfall and then icon shows something similar but shows some higher rainfall totals just offshore of the various areas so uh, maybe up to two inches of rainfall in total between now and sunday for parts of central america so guys that is what the various models are expecting and as i said nothing too major is anticipated that dry air is still quite persistent across the region that is really it for right now and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be with wise.